Myanmar. I hear that you have a harp not very known outside of your country, with a very particular shape. A rendezvous awaits. Sound, the Burmese harp, I am coming to find you. With my travel companion Daoud, I put my trust in traditional string instruments to weave my way through the Silk Roads. One year, on the road, across 12 countries, exploring their traditional music and connecting with their players. Our second country is Myanmar. Welcome to the musical threads of the Silk Roads. From China, I cross the eastern Himalayas to reach the plains of the Mandalay region where the majestic city of Bagan is located. In the heart of this peaceful valley, on the banks of the Irrawaddy River, I am fascinated by the imprint of Buddhism. This area is dotted with over 2,000 pagodas, sacred sites of devotional practice. It's simply staggering. I apply a touch of Thanuka to my face, and off I go in search of the song, the Burmese harp. Yes? Okay. Yes. Or playing the string. Play, yes, yeah. the strings, yeah. yes. Music? You don't know. Music. No, I can't find it around here. I make my way south to Yangon, the country's capital. Like all cities in Southeast Asia, Yangon has its own charm. Tiny terraces, young Buddhists keeping busy, Neighbors playing Chin Lon. I also discover a very particular local game. Try to catch the chicken blindfolded. I almost got it. But wait, I'm not here for the chicken. In the great pagoda of Yangon, prayers and sweeping around here, but no sign of the sound. I need to change my strategy. I am going to go straight to the National University of Arts and Culture of Yangon. I have a good feeling. When I started learning this instrument, it was 1988, and I graduated from the University of Culture in 2001, and I became a teacher in this university in 2002. ตมาดีกีตาร์บีดาบาดายากุยเฉยอะไรดีกาจ้าวเนี่ยอปาเลสรอตมาเรามีมานายามาดีกีตาร์นับตัดไปรอตุเดตนาผิวทาร์เลย
When we tune, it is only in pentatonic. We use mainly two fingers only, that my, the, this uh, index finger and the thumb. And we also use this hand, especially the thumb, to press the strings to create the pitches that are not included in the tuning. According to the mural painting in Bagan Bagoda, and we can say that the hub was used since Bagan period, which started from 9th century AD to 13th century AD. I may say that the instrument originality was in Egypt, and uh, it comes through the Silk Road, and it reached to China, India, and then it reached to Myanmar. I believe all the instruments, the music, somehow connected each other. The, the shape or the melody may vary from country to country, but they were the same in the past. Sue invites me to join her in a concert she gives the next morning in a Buddhist temple three hours away on the road to Daiku. I am thrilled to follow the day of these Burmese musicians. The monks of the village welcome us. The musicians set up for the first part of the concert for the children before a singer arrives for the ceremony. to my students, I rarely choose starting with the classical song. And when they know themselves that they really like to play that instrument, I somehow train them to love classical music. Even though they don't like it, I request them to value it. We shouldn't blame on the kids by not loving our traditional music. You know, for example, if I don't know, if I have never drank the coffee before, how can I know the taste of the coffee? How can I know that I love coffee or not? At least I need to have chance to try the coffee first so that I can know if I like it or not. It's the same way. Let the kids to have chance to touch it. The music or the tradition or the custom, everything, so that they may know if they like it or not. In this country, you cannot listen to the music at the concert hall. I mean traditional music very easily. We should value it. We should keep our identity alive as long as we can, as much as we can. Jamaya Nangyama, music education, Dita Dita Bobi, Kamon Pumbyo Dota Lazi Jamaya. Kalele Shima, no? Pawin Jamaya, Miaiwe, Duro Da Akun Yeyaga Me Solution. Diki Dao, Chila Biro, Diki Dao, Lola Jana Sayte, Uma Jamaya Lo Miwa, Jamaya Ngay Dama Lo Miwa. I remember what Suzarzar said. There is no color in music, no western, no eastern. Music is complete purity. Traditional music is naturally rooted in Suzarzar's culture. Yet, when I play with her 
in front of the golden Shredagon Pagoda, her words resonate in me and I truly feel the power music has in transcending our cultural differences and elevating us in our shared humanity. I carry her precious smile with me as I head towards one of the great civilizations of my journey, India. Jim Paul McKinney 